what is going on guys, it's Wafir, welcome back to some more Minecraft Jurassic World. Hey, wh wh what are you looking at there, pig? You oh, I know, you're trying to look all nonchalant, you you're trying to act like you didn't look at me right there. Oh, chicken, what are you- Oh, I see you there, do you look at me there, chicken? Oh, you have to check it out, that T-Rex on my head? <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to some more Jurassic World. Last time we left off, we actually made like a Spinosaurus and other dinosaurs. Anyways, I came over here to where the abandoned lab was, threw down the digital miner, and uh, told it to mine some fossils for us. So, oh, what are you doing there, chicken? <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm basically the digital miner's fool right now. There's a lot of stuff inside here. There's plant fossils, of course, regular bones. But yeah, I know you can use these like skeletons and stuff. Like, look at that. We have a tricer triceratops skull, and we can make a skull helmet. Really nifty. But I don't know if I want to be giving up my uh, my power suit armor for any sort of fancy dancy bone armor, you know? So, ooh. A broken ancient helmet? Scarab gem? Oh, I think we need that scarab gem. What, what do we need that for? Time machine? What? We can make a time? I, I've, I've never used that before. Whoa! I kind of want to do that. I, <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I kind of want to make a time machine. Like, look at that. <laughs> I don't know what it does, but maybe it takes us back to dinosaur times. When dinosaurs roam the earth. Maybe we can go back and visit when dinosaurs actually roam the earth naturally instead of like today where I had to bring them back using like labs and science and all that. Oh my god, that pig's gonna jump. That pig's don't jump, pig. Don't do it. <laughs> Anyways, it's, it's completely filled up right now, so I'm just going to grab all I and mean, it mined a little bit of diamonds too because I forgot to tell it to not mine diamonds. And it, oh, what are you doing, pig? You trying to sniff? You trying to, trying to kiss me there, little piggy? Oh, and we got a skull as well, so that's pretty good. Oh, at least 64 of them. <laughs> but yeah, using this digital miner is so good. We're getting so much good stuff from it. It's just fantastic. And uh, yeah, let's put that cerebral bit of skull up there. Uh, backpack. That's getting pretty full as well. Man, there's so much stuff here. Jeez, and it just mines it up so quickly too. And I guess we can figure out uh, what we get from the plants as well. So we can head home and throw all that stuff inside the inside the analyzers and extractors or whatever they're called. Throw them inside the cultivation things as well, culture vats and whatnot. Anyways, I do want to go back into the oh my god, zombie! <laughs> I do want to go back into the lab down here. See if there's anything I might have missed. Now there are these drums. Now I did get comments saying that. Uh, Okay, what? Okay, I, I hit I hit two drums and they made like do they make different noises if I break it? Oh, I guess they do. Okay, that's nifty. Anyways, let's go back down to the lab. Oh, I think we could use these drums to like tell all of our dinosaurs to stay or all of our dinosaurs to like attack or whatever. Oh, speaking of attack, there's a creeper. Oh, got him. Ha <laughs> ha. Ooh, you begin to feel comfortable handling the manling cleaver. You take the time to sharpen the dull edges of the blade. Plus one attack. You notice there's room for improvement. All right, so let's look at our inventory right now. Uh, manling cleaver. How much damage is it doing out right now? 10.5. I don't think I've... Have I ever sharpened it? Oh, yeah, I do because there's quartz on it. Oh, yeah, I, I have a lot of modifiers I can do to it. I, well, one modifier. I can, I can make it sharp than it is right now, but I do want to come back inside here because I kind of wanted to get the the skeletons and stuff, but the digital miner just got so much, so much bones and biofossils and all that stuff that I don't even think I want to come down here for the bones and stuff, you know? Oh, spitter! Oh, I see you there. Ooh! You are now accustomed to the weight of the man like cleaver. You take the time to sharpen the- Oh, wow! The, the man like cleaver is getting like a lot of good upgrades right now. Whoa! Oh! Zombies! Whoa, skeleton! Oh, what is happening to the manly cleaver? I'm like getting really- Whoa, every time I hit something! Whoa, expert at using the manly cleaver, whoa! This is really nifty. Why- why- why this never happened before? Maybe it's because I've been killing a lot of pigmen and it, it, I was just on the brink of leveling up or something? Oh yeah, I just wanted to come in here and see if there's anything left that I might have left behind, I don't think so. Yeah, looks like we have everything, nothing inside of here. I think these paintings- what are these paintings? I know they're like, th I think you put these relic scraps in the analyzer or whatever that thing's called and you get the paintings, so that's really cool. Ooh, we could decorate our, uh, our, our little penthouse with these paintings, yeah. Cause I think I might have regular paintings already there. And I still, oh my god, this, <laughs> this pig's like a little miner, he's got a little flashlight hat. <laughs> that's really nifty looking. Anyways, we need to head back home. Uh, which direction is home again? Uh, we we'll have to head, uh, Wherever the pyramid isn't. <laughs> Opposite of the pyramid. I don't know where that is. Is it, is it over here? Why is my fog so short? 
Oh yeah, here's the pier. Whoa! What is this? I didn't- I don't remember seeing this. Last time I came over here to the pyramid, what is this thing? What in the world? There's like a- there's like a dropper right there. Fire charge, potion of strength. This is nifty looking. What's up here? Okay, let's break through the top of this thing. Whoa! I really- maybe I just missed it whenever I came here last time. Huh. Very peculiar. Is there more of these? And there's the hardened clay area down there, but not see- Oh, there are more- there are more fossils over there. I see eggs. Okay, well those are Jurassic Raft fossils, and we don't really need too many of those, but I guess we can go harvest those real quick. Just for old times' sake. Is there la like lava over here? Oh, mob spawners. Whoa! There we go. We just got this mob spawner, I think. Yep. We can turn it into a powered mob spawner and uh, make like a mob trap out of it. Easy piece, no problem. Why is this not working though? What, what was that? What was that mob? Oh, they're all zombie spawners. Huh. Either way, I, I kind of want to make that time machine. Now to make the to make the time machine, I did see. Wow, what's even more of these spawn? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, to, to make the, the time machine, I did see that we needed a, what was it, nether star? The thing that you get from killing the wither, so we may need to go to the nether. And the nether is really, really good because we have this dragon backpack on. We have uh, fire resistance and strength and all that good stuff going on. Uh, I think we need to head this way. Yeah, yeah, this way. But the really cool thing is, like, right now I'm burning up, and in the nether you, like, naturally burn up more because, you know, it's the nether is hot. So we can go there. Kill a bunch of wither skeletons that we need to to make the wither, to summon the wither and all that good stuff. And then, get the nether star. If we went on... Yeah, I don't think we... I don't think we... Yeah, I don't remember fighting a wither in this... In this series, so... Yeah, we definitely need to kill the wither, get the nether star. Then we can make that time machine and see what it does. I don't know if it does anything yet. But I'm really curious to see if it does anything. Oh my god, look at that lava bar on the right. <laughs> that thing is getting huge. <laughs> but we're almost back home. We just passed by Dr. Dino's. Uh, old village. I don't even know if he's still alive or not. Like, seriously though, like, I saw him die right before my eyes at the hands of Chompy, the T-Rex, the best T-Rex in the universe, other than the other, like, two dozen T-Rexes that I have. <laughs> oh, whoa! I'm, like, smoking. Whoa, is that because I'm, like, over- I never noticed that. I, th I guess if you overheat it, you can visibly see your, uh, power suit smoking. I never saw that. Anyways, uh, what are we gonna do? Oh, yeah, we need to empty out all these things into the extractors and stuff. So let's go downstairs into our lab of dreams and uh, oh yeah I should probably fill up my water cooling and in the meantime grab our digital miner uh, grab the where's the where's the power thing did I put it in the backpack oh yep I did okay and put that there and yep my water cool thing is nice and filled up hey Dr. Indominus I'm back you mind uh, processing all this all these fossils and stuff for me you want to do that? Or I, I guess I'll do it. <laughs> Alright, let's go over here. He, he can't even come through here anyways. These are player sensors, not villager sensors. That's right, I said it. Anyways, the culture vats are nice and healthy right now, but uh, let, me, let me show you guys how this works. I don't know if I actually demonstrate. I guess he did on this side. But uh, let's get a bunch of those bots. Actually, yeah. If we put these things over here, those will get processed as well. Yeah, and I think those are how you get the paintings that we have in that weird abandoned mine over there, or abandoned, uh, like, lab or whatever you want to call it. We need these skulls to make a skull on a stick or whatever it's called that we need to actually tame T-Rexes and, and, uh, Spinosaurus and stuff like that. I want to see if we, like, do anything to the Spinosaurus whenever we have a, a skull on a stick, so that's really interesting. I don't know if you can do anything else with these skulls. Apparently, yeah, it looks like all you can do is make that armor, and we need these scarabs so we can actually, uh, you know, get the... So what's happening here? Oh, it's still processing. Uh, where in the world? Oh, did it just give me bones? I didn't get anything from it? Huh, well, we have Tyrannosaurus uh, Rex DNA, Stegosaurus DNA, uh, Spinosaurus Nautilus. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is all the same stuff. Two Brachiosaurus DNA, though. Did it not give me any of those paintings? I thought it would. Huh, let's put 64 there, put another 32 there. Ter oh no, the Pterosaur has escaped because of starvation? Was it talking about Pterosaur? Is it? Is it talking about Petrie? Cause okay, well, Petrie, are you the pterosaur? I assume that's the case. If that's true, let me get some raw chicken, cause you do love raw chicken. I think you also like fish, stuff like that. So let's feed you here. I think the reason why is cause I'm. I, I think I commanded you to stay, so you wouldn't fly away, of course. But uh, I guess that means you can't use the feeder. So what was it? You needed a stick or a bone or something? Oh yeah, you need an arrow. 
Where'd that arrow go? It was in here, right? What happened to my arrow? Anyways, let's get another arrow. There you go. Just grab one, and uh, we can tell you to stay, follow, free move. There you go. Hey, Petrie. You free move? Free move there, little buddy? You little buddy old pal? You wanna- If you wanna- Oh, there you go. Alright. So, if you wanna- If you wanna eat out of there, hey, feel free. Oh, yes. Okay, so it's down to 87. I think it was at- What was that? 130 or something like that? I think it was 130. Whenever we checked it a few seconds ago, so that's good. I think uh, Petrie also likes fish and stuff. I don't know if, like, Pam's Harvest Craft works with this, so... Uh, yeah, okay. Because calamari technically is, like, you know, seafood, fish, stuff like that, even though it is squid. But, <laughs> um... Cooked chicken? Do you like cooked chicken, Petrie? Like, I've got cooked chicken. Oh no, Danny Chick- Oh! Oh, you saw what was in my hand. <laughs> you like cook- Okay, yeah, okay, it seems like it's just raw chicken. Alright, well- uh, Oh man, we need a feeder for the other guys. For the carnivores over there- Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Let's make a feeder. Uh... Feeder... Alright. I assume that, uh, Pterosaur is like a more general name for the Pteranodon that we have, so... Let's see, uh, we need a bucket- Bucket? Really? Uh, okay, I guess we grab one of the water buckets. Take the water out of it, and there we go. Oh, I think I used all my- yeah, I used all my buckets for the- for the milk bucket, so there we go. There's one right there, let's go grab some, uh... I don't know, beef? I, I guess I eat steak and beef, stuff like that. Uh, there's a little bit of that. Pork chops, yeah, I already have a pork chop in our inventory. Now let's just head over there, to our carnivore pen, and let's go feed our carnivores, to give them a feeder, just in case they get hungry. Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, what, what, did you, what do these guys want? They want, a uh, bones, yes. And they're on free move right now, right? Stay, follow, free move, there you go. And you're on free move. Yep, I saw you move around there, little guy. <laughs> Anyways, oh, did I? I don't, I don't remember if I asked you guys to name these guys. I think I might have. It might have been at the very end. And I know that my video is going to get pretty long and not everyone watches to the very end, but... I think this is pretty early into the video to say, hey, we have these brand new carnivores here. We have a Velociraptor there. I know he's very cute. He's got giant eyes and he's got like toes down there and stuff. And over here we have a Ceratosaurus, so that's really cool. He looks pretty ferocious, but at the same time, his eyes look, he's so tiny. He's got those same type of eyes, except they're a different color. But yeah, if you guys want, feel free to leave comments down below naming the Velociraptor and the Ceratosaurus. So if you guys didn't watch at the very end of the last episode where I made these guys, I also made a Spinosaurus, but I put him inside of a uh, golden lasso because apparently we can't tame him. So we can uh, try that out later once we get the skull on a stick. Anyways, you guys like uh, steak. Yep. And there we go. So you guys eat steak, so I'll just put that up inside there. I have a little bit more steak here, so there you go. All right. So if you guys are hungry, feel free to eat out of that feeder. And uh, yeah, I wish Jurassic Craft had a, had a feeder. Maybe the new version has it. I know that Jurassic Craft 2.0 is in like beta or maybe it's officially out now. But the thing is, like, that's 1.8. They don't have like a 1.7.10 version of that mod, right? Oh, whoa. That looked like I actually <laughs> opened up the iron door by right-clicking it there, <laughs> even though it was just a player sensor. Anyways, uh, what, what, what was going on here? Oh yeah, stone tablet, that's what we need. Okay, so this, yeah, here we go, now we have these hieroglyphics and stuff, oh my god. What is that thing, is that an angry chicken? What is that thing? <laughs> oh, that's a spider, oh yeah! I was about to say, like, is that like an angry chicken with the eyes and the, the angry eyebrows, even though I don't, I don't think chickens have eyebrows, right? <laughs> and I thought that was like the beak, but apparently that's a spider with the eight eyes and stuff. Anyways, ooh, yeah, 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 that's a really cool looking painting. Uh, ooh! Look at them fighting T-Rex! Fighting the T-Rex there with like bow and arrow and stuff. And uh, ooh, that's really cool! Did they- Is that a- Is that T-Rex like breaking through the wall right there and they trap the uh- Some sort of- another T-Rex or- what what was happening here? Wow, and there's Steve. Is this Steve with a gun? Wait a second. Look at how modern that guy looks. And these guys over here are just wearing like rags. While Steve over here has like a t-shirt on. He's got like Michael Jordan shoes. He's got those Nikes. He's rocking those Nikes. He's probably got skinny jeans on. And he's got a gun. What's happening here? Did this guy also travel to the past? Huh. Wow, even more reasons for me to want that time <laughs> time machine, right? Anyways, I guess we can keep on decorating this area. Ooh, we got a mammoth there with, I assume, Sabertooth right there. Better run away there, little mammoth. You don't want you guys to get murdered by the Sabertooth. Eh, get rid of that one. We already have that pain. How do we get rid of this? Why, 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 why is this not dropping? Uh, <laughs> I don't know why that's not dropping. Oh, there's Anubis, I assume. And ooh, a T-Rex. Nifty-looking T-Rex. All right, God, can I, like, not get rid of this thing? Like, seriously, though? 
Like, jeez. Ugh. Either way, I guess I'll keep that up. Anyways, it's pretty good decorations for our cultivation room, I suppose. Anyways, uh, let's see. DNA, yeah, we should probably move the DNAs and stuff all the way over here and uh, put the T-Rex, Stegosaurus, Spinosaurus, Nautilus. Uh, is there anything else here? I don't, I don't know. Either way, we have the skull, so we should definitely get the stick. Oh, wait, how are we out of range? What in the world? Oh, it's dead. It's off. It's not powered. What happened here? Oh, the hardened energy. Okay, I guess the hardened energy cell is just getting really, really low on energy, so I should probably turn this into feeding mode, I think. Uh, let's see. Configuration. Do that. Yeah, there you go. And that should start powering this up. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Hey, yep, yep. God, I'm turning on. I'm turning into an Ewok every single day that passes by. <laughs> Anyways, blocks of quartz, uh, cobblestone. Yeah, let's put this back like so. There you go. All right, well, this does have like 2 million RF, so might as well. Anyways, now we can actually power this thing up. Eh, what's the point of doing that, right? <laughs> let's get this time machine crafted, right? Cra or oh, <laughs> crafted. Time machine. Yeah, let's get that time machine. Let, let, let's auto craft it as much as we can. Okay, yeah, look at that. All we're missing now is the nether star. And apparently, if we had a nether star, if we killed a nether or a wither before, it would have auto crafted it right there. So that just means we need to go down to the nether. And we need to go. Where do we get the. Oh, yeah, we had that little weird structure that we <laughs> discovered. Anyways, uh, let's see. Let's get some nether. Or uh, was it called soul sand? Yeah, there you go. Oh, we only have two. Eh, if we're going to the nether, we can easily find soul sand, right? And skull. What kind of skull? Uh, wither. Uh, what was that called? What's the technical name for the skull? Uh, oh yeah, wither, wither skeleton skull. All right. Well, I guess we have to go to the nether, find some withers, and kill them, and see what happens. Either way, we do have sticks. I want to get some sticks because we have skull. We have a skull here, so there you go, skull stick. And uh, what else did we need? Uh, I think that's it, right? Anyways, let's get our Spinosaurus out. And let's see what happens when we right-click the Spinosaurus with the skull on a stick. And I want to do this pretty far away, just in case anything happens. Just so he doesn't attack any dinosaurs. And if he attacks me, we'll be nice and far away from our dinosaurs to where the dinosaurs won't, like, lag out the game and whatnot. Oh, 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 whoa. There's, like, a mine behind our... There's like a mine behind our old villa. Whoa! All this time there's juicy loot over here. Oh, well, it's not that juicy anymore, right? Oh, whoa! Never mind! Hey, a diamond! That's actually pretty good! If I found this thing, like, all the way back then, like, look at this. It's like right there. It's like right, pretty much right next to the village. <laughs> Anyways, uh, oh, I don't know if anyone over here is, like, messing with their dinosaurs or not. Anyways, here's a nice little open area. We can lay down our, uh, Spinosaurus. And, uh, let's see. We'll right click him with a stick. What's, what, what's happening here? I, I don't know. I, I don't I don't know if I want to know. Uh, do I- can I hit him? I don't know if I- I don't know what's gonna happen. What, what if I hit him? What if I hit- what if I make him to the brink of death? And then right-click him with a stick? I don't know. Alright, well, I, I don't know if I want to risk it. I don't want to hit him with it. <laughs> I want to do a little bit more research before I- before I start hitting things with sticks. <laughs> Alright, so, I guess we could just go prepare to go to the nether, fight the wither, get a wither star, and too bad this isn't Star Wars, or else we literally have unlimited nether stars afterwards because we have the EMC machine and whatnot, but unfortunately that's not the case for right now. We can always add that mod in later if we really want it, but for right now might as well might as well keep the mod. I don't I don't want them to be too similar, you know. Put the golden lasso back up, the skull stick back up, and let's go put the extra uh I don't want to put all the fossils up. Uh yeah, let's keep one stack back here. And let's use the rest of them to process through here, because I want to have one stack that we could use for decoration, because you know how we could right-click right -click the ground with a biofossil when we get a nice little skeleton right there? Like, look at that little Allosaurus right there. That actually looks pretty good! I wonder what he looks like when he's like, uh, he, he actually has skin and stuff. I think that's Gallimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimim
Oh, I guess it uh, doesn't tell you. I guess we'll have to figure that out later. <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, let's put all this extra garbage up, and we can go head to the nether real quick. Uh, we can put, yeah, put the spawners up, uh, fire chargers, ooh yeah, and the scarabs, we need to keep those. Uh, relic scrap, we could put, probably put those uh, over here, I suppose. And put up the bone meal, the diamond, the potion of strength. Eh, we don't really need that, right? Like, we already have uh, pretty much unlimited strength. Uh, yep. Anyways, let's head to the nether. Hey, how's it going, Dr. Endowments? I'm just going to take this little pathway down here. Don't mind if I do. And let's go to the nether. Let's hope that we don't get murdered. And, uh, oh man, I probably should have brought my power fist, right? Hmm. Why is there always something at the nether portal just waiting to tickle my butt? Don't do that there. Ooh! Master to manly cleaver. God, I am so good with this thing. Why is this manly cleaver suddenly getting, like, upgrades left and right? I don't know why. Either way, we need to kill these, like, uh, oh, whoa. Whoa, that was so fast! I died so fast right there, man! <laughs> Alright, well, we need to go down there, back to the nether. Oh, man, Dr. Indominus, you will not believe what just happened. I just died so fast. Man, okay, well, we're still getting attacked by zombie Pikmin and stuff. We definitely are not immortal. No matter how dank our backpack is, we are not immortal. And uh, what did that witch just drop? I don't know. Oh, my God, that chicken's on fire. That chicken with the Pikmin is on fire. <laughs> oh, okay, Pikmin over here. Okay, get out of here. And we have these phantoms or whatever as well, so we should definitely... Oh! Oh, he's picking me up. That's not good. Okay, we're getting some damage. There we go. We do still have, like, good regen or something. Thanks to the backpack that we're wearing, right? Right? Uh, uh, yeah, we have regen, strength, and fire resistance. Oh, get out of here, you phantom thing. Gee. Okay, I think we're good. Whew. All right. Anyways, we need to go to over there. And, uh, God, who's hitting me now? Dumb Pikmin over there. <laughs> we need to go over there, because that is the closest... Uh, nether, actually, what, what, what all's over here? I kind of want to look at the map. Yeah, I'm not seeing any other nether fortresses. Oh, yeah, there's another fortress over there, though. Like a beehive, I suppose. But the only nether fortress I know of is over here at Dr. Dino's base, so... We should definitely go all the way over there. And, uh, oh my god, another chicken! Another pigment around a chicken. There you go, chicken. <laughs> Killing one of the rarest mobs in the game, hater. <laughs> Alright, let's go over here. Is this where we need to go? I, I assume this is pretty close. Let's keep going. Whoa, just flying across the map like it's nothing. <laughs> All right, I hope I'm heading the right way. Uh, yo, oh yeah, I am. Wow, wow, we're actually getting pretty close. How much farther until we're actually there? Oh wow, we're all the way here now. But I'm on fire, so <laughs> it's not a big deal though. Uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, all my water cooling is completely depleted, so uh, we should probably just stay still. Maybe I don't know. Uh, I don't know what we should do now. Our water cooling is completely empty. I don't think we're carrying like a random bucket of water or anything on us. Yeah, definitely not. So I assume that lava is just going to stay like that. Anyways, blazes, you guys are going to die. You guys are going down. <laughs> Even though there's fire literally in my way and I can't see a thing. There you go. Got him. <laughs> where are, where is this gas at? Man, where is this guy? Huh. I'm not seeing this gas. I'm not seeing any wither skeleton. I'm seeing a whole lot of nothing right now. Zoom out on the mini map. Yeah, not seeing any wither skeletons. Uh, oh yeah, we need soul sand. Let's go down here and let's, let's grab some soul sand. Yeah, there you go. It's way more than enough. But uh, I think what I'm gonna do is roam around and hope that I find some wither skeleton. Oh, I'm seeing a wither skeleton right now on the mini map. Woo! Where is this guy at? Where is he? Is he down here? Oh, I think he is. I have a torch. You guys better watch out. Oh, no, I guess he's not down here. If he is, then he's, like, really far down. Where is this guy at? Huh. What, what, what is all over here? Just a, Oh, it's gonna explode. Oh, man, it's gonna explode. Oh, oh, it exploded. That's it. I'm dead. Oh, let's get out of here. Oh, man, that lava thing on the left is getting... Or on the right is so huge. There's a wither skeleton. Got him. Did he drop a skull? I don't think he did. Oh, he didn't drop a skull. Get out of here, blazes. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'm gonna go hunting for some more withers. And, uh, yeah, American World War II thing. Okay. I'm gonna go hunting for some more withers, and I will see you guys here in a bit once I hopefully have all three skulls that I need to summon the withers. Or did, did I say I'm gonna go hunt withers? Man, that's casual. <laughs> I'm gonna go hunt some wither skeletons, and once I get three skulls, I'll see you guys here in a bit. Alright, guys, so I have seven skulls now. Gee. <laughs> Anyways, let's go back home, and God, that lava thing on the top right that's that's literally going through my screen right now 
I bet if I had my... Uh, let's do this. Let's set the GUI scale, like, small. There we go. Oh my god, look at how tall that thing is. Look at how tall it is. Look at... Look, <laughs> there's, like, three... Oh, there's another one of skeleton over here. I can get up to, like, eight of them if I wanted. Oh, there he is right there. Oh, get over here. Oh, I can't... Oh, what am I hitting him with? I don't even know. There you go, manly cleaver. Oh, you only dropped a little bit of... A little bit of charcoal or coal right there. Okay. Well, either way, we're getting withered, but... Our region is just so good. We're not gonna, we're not gonna die from this wither. Ah. Anyways, let's set our man. Look at this. About to go through this whole the screen again, man. Set our brightness back to large. There are a uh, GUI scale back to large. I don't know why it's taking forever to load in all of a sudden. I don't know why. Keep on doing this, uh, this multi-core fast. Blah blah blah. There you go. And it still takes a little while to load in stuff. Like look at that. It's, I don't know why it's like really slow. Maybe it's because of all the mods and stuff that I've. It's, installed I, I have no idea <laughs> either way i'm going to go back to the nether portal and i will see you guys here in a bit once i get back to the overworld and actually maybe we should uh huh yeah let's go back to the overworld i want to i want to get rid of this dumb fire <laughs> i'll see you guys here in a second Whew. all right where are we going where do we have to go right yep okay right about here there we go let's fly up this thing that's a lot more convenient than having to <laughs> dig through the the roof of our thing again oh wait i have to set my brightness back down there you go all right i had to turn it up because it's like super dark in the nether anyways let's go fill up our water cooling system <laughs> and get rid of all this this gigantic spike of lava what is that oh my god is that is that a phalosaurus is that a nautilus is that a natural Nautilus? Oh my god! It is! Whoa, how did that happen? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. Uh, lasso, lasso. Are Nautiluses, like, real in, like, real life and stuff, too? Like, like, I know they're obviously in real life, but, like, present day? Do they currently? I don't think they do. I, yeah, yeah, maybe. Like, cuttlefishes and stuff, but... Not like actual Nautilus. I, I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not an expert on the sea creatures and whatnot. But there's a wild Nautilus right there. Wow. I wonder if we venture out a little bit more, we can find some more of these guys. Wow, that's really cool. Let's see. I kind of want to. Okay. Oh man, we're almost cooled down finally. Jeez. I kind of want to see if there's any more in this river. I don't see any more of them. That was really cool. There's an actual, actual wild nautilus. Nice. <laughs> Anyways, our water cool is nice and filled up now, and uh, we can put up this golden lasso. There we go. And let's get the, let's get the soul sand, and the wither skulls. Let's actually put up all that. Eh, we have like keep inventory on. Anyways, let's go back to the nether. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Let's get the let's get the power fist. <laughs> let's get the power fist. That thing is so good. There we go, let's put up all this extra garbage. You got a lot of necrotic bones, which is which is actually pretty good, not bad at all. We can make more of those um, those heart containers and stuff, so that's gonna be really cool. Put the sugar up to raw chicken. Oh yeah, uh, let's let's feed some raw chicken to Petri real quick. Uh, copper, blah blah blah, stone sword. Eh, I don't really care. <laughs> there you go. Let's go feed Petri some of this uh, some of this raw chicken. Hey nanny chicken, what are you doing with Petri? You guys hanging out? You guys being best friends over here? What what was your food up to? There you go. If you want a little bit more food? There you go, Petrie. You hungry? I guess not, because you just ate an absolute ton of raw chicken. You ate like I don't know, five raw chicken there, because it was like at 130, and then it went down to like 80 something. And it was go back to another, and let's go summon the Wither and fight the Wither and make a time machine. I don't know if that time machine's like actually like I don't know if that's like a work in progress thing. So I guess we're just going to find out here together. Oh my god, it's one of these things. Woo, get rid of that. Woo. <laughs> Anyways, let's find a, let's find an area over here. Let's turn the brightness back up. There you go. Uh, I kind of want to go over here-ish. Dig out a little area of netherrack. Of course, netherrack's not the most... Oh my god, lava. <laughs> That's not a good place. Of course, netherrack's not the most durable thing in the universe. So obviously, once we spawn the wither inside of here, he's, he's going to break through a netherrack no problem. So there you go. Uh, let's see. Let's get the soul sand. Let's do a little bit of this and a little bit of a little bit of that. And let's uh, let's set, make sure our power fist is set to railgun. Yep, there you go. Okay. And uh, we could do the one, two. <sighs> oh, man, I'm glad there's no command block in the middle there, right? <laughs> if you guys don't catch that reference, check out my Minecraft story mode uh, playthrough. And uh, whew, okay, last skull. There we go, the Wither is being summoned. He's currently in invulnerable right now. He's he's getting charged up once he's up to full health. We can start fighting him. And... Oh. 
Uh, oh, there we go. Let's hit him with the rail gun. How much damage is this going to do compared to how much damage he's doing to us? Oh, man. We're actually doing some decent damage. He's doing decent damage to us as well. We're regening with the dragon backpack, but we're doing some fantastic damage again with the mandolin. Oh, my God. The mandolin cleaver. Did you see how much damage that did? What in the world? Did he, okay, we got another star, but... Man! Nalin. <laughs> but how much damage is this thing up to now? 26 attack damage! God! And, oh! It's like getting filled up with, like, quartz or something? Huh. I wonder why that is. That's really weird. We have three modifiers remaining. What? I, I am really curious as to why it kept on, like, automatically, like, upgrading itself back there. That's so weird. Is that platinum? I think it is. I don't think you can get uh, diamond nether ore, right? Uh, oh, I guess... Oh, I just guess I've just been proven wrong. There's diamond nether ore right, right there. Ah, diamonds are nothing to us. <laughs> we have so many diamonds, but... Speaking of stuff we have, we have... The nether star, or the... Is that, is that called nether star? I think it is. <laughs> but now we can make the time machine. We can go back in time. I think the, the wither dropped a, a yellow heart container as well, which is actually pretty good. Because to make those, you need to make a red heart, or a yellow heart, right? I don't think, you can't make yellow hearts, can you? I don't, uh, I don't think you can. Yeah, you have to, you have to actually get them from things like bosses and stuff. Okay. So, yellow heart container, that's going to be really dank. We currently, how many heart containers do we currently have? We have only one, and it's a red heart container. Okay. We should definitely look into doing uh, more heart container stuff, especially now that I have more necrotic bones. Anyways, now that we have... The Nether Star? And what is this thing? Division Signal? An active you must perform activation ritual. Sneak right click on the enchantment table for details. Huh. Interesting stuff. Anyways, Nether Star, we're gonna get this time machine. We're gonna figure out what this thing does. Ooh, oh man, I actually half expected us to get like some sort of achievement right there, like, oh traveling back in time or something. <laughs> Anyways, uh, where should we put this thing? I don't know. Huh. Like, where, where would be a, a proper place to put an actual, actual time machine, right? Like, what's gonna happen? Like, okay, let's, let's put it, like, over here. I don't know what's gonna happen. Placed it down, right-click it. Okay. So what's gonna happen? Okay, it's a time machine? I guess I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research here. I thought it'd, like, spawn a portal down or something, and we'd go back in time where <laughs> dinosaurs roam the Earth, but... I'm gonna do a little bit of research on this thing, and I'm gonna see what the big deal with this thing is, and... I'll see you guys here in a second. Alright, so it looks like my assumptions of it being a work in pro- Oh my god, that thing broke so easily. <laughs> Anyways, it looks like my assumptions of it being a work in progress thing right now are... Indeed true, it's still a work in progress. Now, it's supposed to actually do, like I said, take you to like a new dimension, I assume a dimension where dinosaurs roam free and Nautilus is also roam free. Where, where's that little guy at? I kind of want to kidnap- oh man, there's one, there's one over here? Whoa, these guys are friendly too, I assume, like I can only assume. So if there's multiple ones just spawning like it's nothing, what if we go to the ocean? Are they ocean dwellers or are they like river dwellers? I don't know if it makes a difference. But, uh, let's see if we can see any Nautiluses. Not a lot, not a lot. Oh my god, there's a wild coelacanth. What in the world? Oh my god. You guys. Look at that thing. Uh, okay. <laughs> the coelacanths we have look a lot better than that. But it, it, it basically looks the same. But. Wow, there's wild coelacanths. There's wild nautilus eye. Not a lie. Not a, not, not, that's not a lie. <laughs> but, uh, wow, I kind of want to go kill a Nautilus to see what it drops, right? <laughs> Probably going to give us, like, Nautilus DNA and we can go cultivate another Nautilus or something. I don't know. But, uh, squid over here. Hey, squid, what, what, what did you guys do with the Nautilus? Oh my god, is that a fez? That's a purple fez. Oh, okay. Whew. I was about to say, that's a purple fez you got on there, little squid, but it seems like it's just a red one underwater and it looked purple. Where's that Nautilus at? Are they dead? Did you kill the Nautilus? Nautilus? You better not be lying to me, squid. Now, I don't know what happened to the Nautilus. This is this, this. Huh. Well, you know. Anyways, that's, that's kind of a letdown. I guess we can keep the, the, the time machine until it's actually a thing. But, apparently you need to actually go find this thing called a castle. Man, those T-Rex is going crazy. <laughs> you need to find this thing called a castle. Fight the boss there. He's going to drop a thing called like a, like a time clock or something. That's what you put in this little thing right here. And that's what's going to open up the dimension 
but uh, we have that to look forward to and hopefully an upcoming update of the fossils and archaeology revival mod so that's going to be really cool anyways that was a pr pretty fun little adventure we went on nonetheless we fought the wither all that good stuff i kind of want to go cultivate some more dinosaurs as well as go name our like three or four or five dinosaurs for today so uh, yeah i guess we could use these drums to see what happens huh yeah let's use that I kind of want to see if uh, banging on the drums actually, like, tells all the dinosaurs in the vicinity to stay slash uh, free move slash follow. Because if so, that would be really nifty. Anyways, what kind of dinosaurs do we have? We have more Pteranodons. We have, uh, okay, I, I'm just not even going to try and pronounce that, but uh, Nautiluses, we've seen those. T-Rexes, ooh, yeah, we already have a T-Rex egg somewhere. Uh, where do we put that? I don't know where I put my... I don't know where I casually put my t rex Oh! Uh, yep, there it is right there. <laughs> Alright, Stegosaurus, I don't think we have that yet. T-Rex, Spinosaurus, of course, we already have that. Dionomoculus is a bit of Ceratosaurus, yep, we already have that. And, uh, yeah, I guess that'll be it. Uh, I guess we can get some Nautiluses and put them in the, uh, in the culture vat thing. And, uh, or the, the aquarium with our other sea-dwelling coelacanths. The ones that actually look pretty good. The, the, the one we saw in the ocean there a few seconds ago, a few minutes ago. It didn't look that good. I don't know why, I think the coelacanths that we have are just modeled better, the Jurassic Craft ones, you know? So, while these are cultivating and hopefully not exploding and spawning down a, uh, <laughs> an aggressive little mob. Let's get that. Let's go test out what this drum does. Let's go see if it actually tells all the dinosaurs in the vicinity to stay or free roam and whatnot. And then I guess we can uh, continue working on the park and actually set up that statue with the T-Rex. That's going to be really cool. So all these guys are currently told to uh, free roam. Let me get myself a bone so I can verify, so I can myth bust this thing here in a bit. There we go, let's grab ourselves some bones. And let's get our drum out. Let's put it down like this, there we go. So, follow mode. Are you guys following me? Are you guys set to follow? Stay, follow, free move. Huh, I guess not. Are you set to follow? I think you are. Are you? Stay, follow, free move. Does it, does it always do that? So if you're on stay mode. There you go. Follow free. Okay, I guess not. Huh. Free move. So what do we do here? Do I do I right click it with the with the corresponding thing? Okay. What what, what do we do? What do I, hey, hey, how's it going? What are you doing there? You, you you're like jumping into me. What are you guys doing? <laughs> you guys are going crazy. What are you gonna stay, follow, free move? Huh. Interesting stuff. I should probably do a little bit more research on this drum. Anyways, I guess I'll... Oh. <laughs> I guess I'll do a little bit of uh, research on that drum. Either way, let's uh, let's go over here. And let's go... What, what, what material should we use for the platform? I'm thinking quartz. Quartz is fancy, right? Let's do that. Let's get some quartz. An absolute ton of that stuff. And we have backpacks, so we don't even have to go to a crafting station to make our quartz slabs and quartz stairs and whatnot. So, there we go. And uh, let's grab all, all these blocks. God, I am... All over the place today. <laughs> there you go. Quartz stairs. We have 20 of those. Let's go up to th yeah, 32. That's a pretty good number. And uh, we're gonna need. Uh, yeah, let's get another. Let's get another stack of quartz. There you go. And let's go build that platform. And we're also gonna need some. Do we have any biofossils inside of here? Not by Joe. <laughs> let's go downstairs. Let's go grab some biofossils. And uh, we need bones to like grow the biofossils so they're a lot bigger. So I already have a stack of bones in my inventory right now. So no real need to grab some of those. We only need like one. Biofossil, so there we go. And uh, what do we have over here? Uh, Mosasaurus, I think we already have- Oh my god! Do we, do we already have one of these Confucian and Sonorous things? No, we have a tyr Pteranodon. No, we don't! I guess we're not- Oh, wow, hey, that's pretty good! Has that always been inside there? I don't know if- I know these have a buffer. Uh, yeah, that one, they're all like filled up with some bone meal right now. <laughs> There's some sand there. And uh, Ankylosaurus, we already know that. Uh, yeah, I think we already have that one cultivating. Uh, Brachiosaurus, Confucius. Oh, yeah, we already had the Confucius blah 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 blah. But I guess we didn't cultivate it. Huh. Alright, well, uh, these are about halfway done, so let's go work on the T Rex statue. Oh, yeah, and then we need to come back and name a few name tags and name some of our carnivores. So let's do that here in a bit. Uh, so we want to put the T Rex statue over here. So I did say it doesn't have to be in the exact center, we could put it about here ish. And then all trails can lead to this, uh, the statue over here, so... Let's see, how big could this be? Mmm... Hmm... We might have to cut down some trees, and if... If we do have to cut down some trees, that's not a big deal. One, two, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There you go, 11. And 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so 11 by 11, so technically, uh, 9 by 9 on the inside, so, you know, for the T-Rex to actually stand. Actually, maybe it's going to be only, uh, 7 by 7, because I kind of want to put up, like, a fence or something. Just so it's a lot easier for the T-Rex to, to, you know, so villagers and stuff aren't roaming all over the T-Rex and stuff, so it's actually, like, a protected statue, or, or maybe we could put the T-Rex on, like, a pedestal. Oh, yeah, I guess we could do that. Huh. Let's actually, okay, let's lay down this biofossil until we get a T-Rex. Yeah, we should probably have done that before. <gasps> Let's see how big this thing gets. Well, like two two attempts after I paused the recording, I got Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> Alright, so let's grow this guy as big as it's going to- Oh, is that it? Oh, oh, there we go. It's getting a lot big. Oh my god, this guy's getting- Ooh, He's huge, man! That's big! Wow, that's pretty good. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so that platform over there is- Yeah, that's way too big, so- <laughs> I guess maybe not. It's I guess it's not too big. It's just, uh... It, I guess we just need, like, a pedestal or something. We don't really need to have it, like, the whole thing this big, you know? So we can make a, a decent-sized pedestal. And, uh, set the dinosaur on top of it. Let, let's go back over there. What, how big How big are the feet, probably? So it's about one... One, two, three, four... Okay, we can make the pedestal, like, five by five, so that's good. And, uh, let's, let's put it... Yeah, let, yeah, let's make it five by five. Alright, and we can try and center this as much as possible, even though it's not the biggest priority. Oh, do I smell chicken? Do I smell- Oh, Colonel Sanders, how you doing? <laughs> Alright, let's place this down, and uh, we can make like a pedestal, so one, two, three, four, five. And uh, how centered is that? I just want to see for curiosity's sake. Eh, decent. Eh, could be better. Actually, one, two, yeah, seven by seven. And then the middle bit's going to actually be five by five, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There you go. And I hope I have enough. Yep, I should have enough quartz. There we go. And, uh, this bit here. There we go. It's gonna go up. By a few blocks. Actually, this should go up by a few blocks. Yeah. Like this. There we go. So we actually have a 3x3 three three and it could go up by, like, I guess two blocks? Maybe we should go up by three so we could have the T-Rex standing on top of that. Yeah, I think that's good. I think it's good. Okay, so if we do that, we're going to have to cut down this dark oak, which... Uh, it's not a big deal, but... Yeah, we have to get it out of the way. I don't want it to be too in the way of the T-Rex. Might have to cut down this dark oak as well. Depending on how big the T-Rex is going to be. Now we have to... Now we have to play the... Oh my god, it has like a shadow and everything. <laughs> and now we have to play the waiting game... On whether or not we're going to... Oh, this is going... This is so much harder. Come on, can you like, give me the biofossil already? Come on, T-Rex! Now we have to play the waiting game until we actually get the biofossil back, and then, hopefully, we actually place down the T-Rex over at the pedestal, so... I'm gonna try and get my biofossil back from this T-Rex, and I will see you guys here in a second. Alright guys, whew! Finally, I don't know how long I just spent right there, maybe 10 minutes or something. Anyways, I used the old lasso to position the T-Rex about as close to the center as possible. I don't know why, he, like, he kept on being off-center, like, it always on, like, one of these corner blocks or something. But I used the golden lasso, which was actually pretty nifty, and I picked him up. Anyways, he's not fully full-size right now, so it's frankly, like, oh my god, we might have to use the golden lasso a few more times. Oh yeah, we might, <laughs> he's literally floating right now, so... Ooh, yeah, might have to, might have to use that golden lasso again here in a second. <laughs> Anyways, at least we have the T-Rex down and working. Oh, I think I just picked up Colonel Sanders' egg. Nice. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get the golden lasso. There we go. Let's grab one of you. And, uh, good thing that the golden lasso, like, remembers that it's a T-Rex. I don't know if it's going to remember, like, its size. Is it going to remember its size? Uh, oh, it actually is. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Because that saves me a little bit of bone meal, or, uh, bones, I guess you could say. Okay, we need to push them about... Okay, we probably going to need to, like, put another few blocks here. Then place them about... about there. Okay, yeah, that's too too far forward. Let's try it here. That's getting better. That's definitely getting better. Okay, one more. And that's probably going to be it, right? Uh, let's put it about like this. That's actually pretty good, but one of his feet is off, so let's, uh... About like... Oh! That's actually not bad! Let's try and get them uh, about here in the center-ish. Oh, I guess you can only put them on full blocks or something. Huh. Alright, well, that's about as close as it's going to get, right? <laughs> Wait, what if I place them, like, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. What if I place them like this? Is he going to... 
Oh no, okay, I guess he's forever going to face that way. Ah, that's unfortunate, I suppose. Anyways. Uh, oh, what if I, yeah, what if I do this? What if he's on this block? Let's place him here. There we go. Oh no, that's not going to work. Okay. So I guess right here is probably going to be our best bet. And yeah, he's looking pretty good. Not bad at all. Let me know what you guys think. Because right now, I think the statue is actually not bad at all. I might, like, make this place look a lot fancier with, like, uh, I know you can make signs with Tinker's Construct, so let's see, sign. Okay, so, uh, Electrum Sign Head. Okay, so I might have to use an Electrum Sign Head to, uh, make a fancy looking, uh, little plaque here or something. Or maybe, like, out of bronze or something. Uh, yeah, I think I might use the Electrum. Plus, we probably have a lot of Electrum back home that, uh, might as well be put to good use. Uh, how are we doing here on trees? Yeah, okay, I could probably cut down this pine tree. Let's get rid of that tree. Just because the T-Rex's face is, like, right here, you know? And get rid of the leaves. There you go. And, uh, there you go. Let's see what it looks like now. That's not bad. The only problem I guess I have is that one of the feet is off. So, eh, what are you going to do? Uh, I guess one way we could fix that is making this a 4x4 four four instead of a 3x3. Three three. See how that would look. Uh, that's actually not bad. Huh. Alright, so, I guess I'll just extend this into a 4x4. Four four and, uh, extend the, uh, the platform as well. Like, one more block this way, I suppose. So, there we go. Make it look a little bit spiffier. And I guess I have to extend this one one more block as well. And let's grab our stair blocks. And turn that one into... God, those T-Rexes are roaring in my face! I don't know if this dead one's roaring in my face or not, but it sounds like it with all the T-Rexes just going off in the background. Anyways, there you go. There's a platform. I don't know, I'm kind of conflicted. Like, the four the four block one, of course, does fit it better. But I like the, the three one, like... I don't know. Maybe I'll position... Yeah, I think I'll be want to position it. Like, uh, like, I'm going to move it a few more blocks this way. Just so it looks better position-wise, but let me know where I go. I'm going to set up a poll, actually. Should it be, should the, should the TX statue have a four-block pedestal here? Or a three-block pedestal? Now, the three-block pedestal is what we had before I added to it, so I guess you can just rewind the video and see what that looked like, but, uh, I think I might, uh, yeah, I think I might stick with the four-block. Now that I think about it, I, I think I'll, all I'll do is just move it over here, but I'm going to go check your guys' poll and see what you guys have to say as well. Anyways, I think that's going to be me for this episode. Oh, let's go see if we had any trouble in the culture vats. I hope we didn't. I didn't get any notifications saying, oh, there's there's like a failure. Now there's a fail of source in your lab, hater. <laughs> I didn't get any of those notifications, so hopefully nothing bad. Oh, oh, <gasps> living Nautilus, dying dino Nikes thing here. <laughs> we got a Stegosaurus as well, and a, and a whatever that thing is. Pachycephalosaurus. Pachys... Pachys... Pachycephalosaurus. Okay, that... I guess if you sound it out, like, syllable by syllable, it's not that hard, right? <laughs> Anyways, I guess we can go throw these not a lie, not a lie, <laughs> into the, uh, the aquarium real quick and see what happens. Anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, oh my god, that actually looks really good. No joke. <laughs> Thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. Let's lay, let's lay these guys. Oh, they're eggs, right? So, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, they're living on lists. So, yeah. And I don't think they're getting killed. So, looks like they're all friendly with each other. Fantastic. So, we're going to have these little cuttlefish looking things <laughs> just swimming out here with our coelacanth. And yeah, the model for this coelacanth is a lot better than the one we saw in the ocean a while ago. So, Definitely liking this a lot more and definitely excited to get some more uh, Nautiluses over here So our our aquarium over here gets nice and populated I don't think uh, Mosasauruses and stuff like that are going to come here anytime soon. So <laughs> don't expect that but maybe Maybe we can make their own little aquarium somewhere. I don't know. Maybe maybe over here or something. I don't know. Either way, thank you guys all very much for watching. Why do I keep on dis <laughs> delaying this, this glass right here? I really need to break this glass. But thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll put my latest videos on YouTube home page as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. I will see you guys soon next time with some more Jurassic World. Oh, oh, I'm trying to get a trying to get a good shot of that <laughs> that T-Rex statue. Oh, it ooh ah e oh, there we go. <laughs> Man, that's way that's a lot better than anything I could have made with like forged micro blocks or anything. That looks fantastic. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys here next time. Oh, bye there.
Thank you.